So when shooting YouTube videos, there are two main components that I really wanted to focus on. And I'm still working on both of those. Those are audio and visual. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for the Rooski Brewski Review. And today, the beer I have for you is by the lovely Collective Arts of Hamilton, Ontario. We have one of their new beers, one of the new core beers, to be precise. We have their audio visual lager. Boom, audio visual lager. Coming in at 4.9% alcohol by volume and an unknown IBUs not listed here on the beautiful can, not listed on the website if I'm not mistaken, nope, and not listed on untapped. It is that new. But yes, audio, visual, lager, boom, and on the front you have sunflower bean, which is a giant hand twisting up a wind-up car. Absolutely fan freaking tastic great great stuff 4.9% alcohol by volume lager Very excited. Let's crack this bad boy open And let's see what we got into my beer 101 pint glass because yes glass Glass and pints and pints and glass. There you go. Can't go wrong Boom Perfect Looking at the beer actually kind of reminds you of, uh, say, a macro beer just because of how clear it is and how golden colored and a nice white head on top. Yep, if somebody poured this for me and I didn't know what it was, you'd probably think it's a macro beer. You can fool your friends and family now if we don't drink craft beer. Let's have a smell. On the nose, it smells like a solid lager. Bready, white bread. A little bit of like a, almost like a citrusy note coming off it. A little bit of a melon character as well. But yeah, zesty, like almost like a lemon lime sort of zest. Not, not super in your face of an aroma, but I do smell it. Let's have a sip. On the sip, bready lagery like a little bit of caramel going on but there is sort of a bitterness to it and in, in, in a sense almost dare I say skunkiness to it it's like a it's like a mixture between citrus rind lemon like lemon lime citrus zest and skunkiness sort of in the mid to the finish which is, I don't know, kind of throwing me off a little bit. But I think I just need more to drink. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Let's do a bit more research. Coming in, light caramel, a little bit of melon. And that's where it comes in. That citrus zest, citrus rind, sort of skunky flavor that comes in right in the middle and then sort of goes throughout the rest of the beer, dancing in between those three particular flavors. Not really what I'm looking for, or not the flavor that I care to enjoy too much, which is a bit of a bummer, but hey, you know what? That's fine. Everybody likes them a little bit different. It's just not my flavor. Overall, it's light and crisp. Goes down absolutely smooth. Uh, not as effervescent compared to some macro beers and to some other lagers, which I, I don't really have an opinion on. It's neither a good thing or a bad thing. It's just, it, it's something different. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy, easy to drink though. Looking on the can. Audio visual lager. On the side, do we have a description? No, but we do have something up here. Music, Sunflower Bean, gig artist, uh, Mickey uh, Levy or Lavi. Label is a mom plus pop. Discover new music with audio visual. A collaborative series featuring one record label, four bands and one artist. That's interesting. Text AV Sunflower to 
393939. I'm not too sure what that whole initiative is. Probably something more on the website. Then they have that in French. 4.9% ABV. That's it. On the bottom, clearly labeled brewed on date, September 30th, 2019. So we're losing a lot of information, no description, no IBUs, no ingredients list. Kind of a big no-no for me to be honest, but they do have the most important thing, a brewed on or best before date clearly labeled, which I do enjoy quite a bit. With that said, can is done. Sip of the beer going down. Mm. Website, collectiveartsbrewing.com. You go to the beer section, you go to the core section specifically, and you find the audio visual logger. Big description here. Discover new music with audio visual. This collaborative series celebrates an, the uh, intersection of art, music, and beer, featuring a, a record label, four bands, and one visual artist. Every three months, the bands, the, the bands, the record label, and the artist will switch, making room for continued discovery of emerging music of all genres. Audio visual logger is super refreshing, making it the ideal beer for concerts, green rooms, backyards, or whatever, or wherever, sorry, you tune in. Audio visual is brewed with Pilsen malt and brown rice and cold, and cold aged for four weeks for the most refreshingly clean and crisp finish possible. We use Wa'ati hops for the refer, for bleh, 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 for fresh notes of lime and mandarin citrus, rounding out this traditional style into a benchmark lager. Boom! I was right. Not on the skunk, but on the citrus. Mm, most of it. Lime citrus got it. Mandarin citrus, interesting. That's pretty cool. But, yep, yep, and yep, they do list the hops. I missed that on the can, didn't I? Didn't I miss that on the can, or did I not? Or am I just going crazy? Probably a little bit of both. Nope, not here, that's fine. Right, right, not here, not here, not here, not here. Nope, 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 nope. Website though, hops. Wa-wa-ti, wa ti wa ti I don't know how to pronounce it. W-A-I-dash-I-T-I, wa ti ti or Y-T. No idea. Moving on. Very nice looking website. Still. No AB. No IBU. Sorry. No food pairings. No detailed list of malts. But you got the detailed list of hops. The one hop. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's fine. Nice big description. I like how they do give the information about the whole initiative, the whole collaboration process that they have going on. Makes a lot more sense. Very, very nice indeed. If you want to pick up your audio visual logger, your local LCBO, you're going to be paying $3.25 for this 473ml tall boy can. Not a bad price at all. I mean, it's nothing, uh, it's not outrageously expensive, it's not outrageously cheap. It's right sort of in the middle, smack dab there, which is fine by me. That finish though, definitely not skunky. Definitely more rindy like, um, definitely a bit more bitter of a citrusy note. Not my thing, but hey, it's still a damn good beer. Gives it some character. Finally, moving over to Untapped, Audio Visual Lager has been given a 3.5 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of just over 200 ratings. Slowly getting there, guys, it's just a new beer. Overall, I'm enjoying it. It definitely has a little bit of a and mid and ending flavor that's not really what I like, but still a very refreshing, beautiful beer. So with that said, cheers everybody on the final sip. Let's get right to ratings and wrap this thing up. Audio, visual, lager, collective arts. Great lager, not gonna lie, but the mid and end citrusy flavors that I'm getting don't really go along with my palate. Not saying it doesn't go for other people's palates, because it probably 100% does. Not really for me, but still a very interesting beer, a nice take on a lager, and wow, it, it, you know, it, it sets it apart from other lagers, which is absolutely awesome in my opinion. Overall, Audio Visual Lager gets a solid 7 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, Collective Arts having the artwork done. Sorry, forgot to mention this as well. Artwork is done. 
bye. Does not say me like the other ones do. That doesn't say. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. Very nice can design indeed. Typical collective arts, but it's missing a lot of information that I like to see, especially ingredients, description, and IBUs. All subjective, but still would like to see it on the can. Thankfully, website makes up for it, and the can does have a clearly labeled brewed on or best before date on the bottom, which is perfect indeed. A website always looks amazing, good information there. I like how they list the hops with a hop that was using the beer, because that's always a fun thing to see. Overall, because the can is missing a lot of information that's good to retract some points, so presentation gets a solid gets a solid 7 out of 10 as well. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Bruce, you'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Bruce. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Now plug in your headphones, start your TVs, and listen to some audio visual in shit. I don't even know what word to use. Bliss, music, TV, music, video, stuff and things. Just do it. Grab a beer, grab a headphones, grab a screen, and just vibe out. Cheers.